We are here at Coper, Virginia, taking a look at Juan and Nick. Nick on the bottom here pulls for the men's final for the 185, 81-pound middleweight bracket. We saw both of these competitors put on really dominant performances in their first match. Juan in half guard now. Nick started a pass, got stuck in half guard here, and Juan getting that nice cross collar grip. Yeah, Nick gets two there for the for the come to top. So Nick up, Nick in the white up two points right now. Juan keeping Nick away through that that fist to chin pressure. It's a really useful thing to do there. Yeah, it's hard to kind of work off of it, but it does definitely give you the space you need in the half guard to start setting up um, other things that you want. It does kind of stalemate a little bit sometimes, but it is a position we've seen people use effectively for years. We see Juan move into sort of a spider grip with his legs here, but Looks Nick, like he's looking for lasso. Yeah, a little bit of a lasso. Yeah. Nick trying to pass through it. We end up in headquarters position with Nick here. Trying and to climb underneath Juan's outside leg. Yeah, Nick looks like he's trying to do almost like a throw bypass uh, towards Juan's back here. Juan doing a nice job keeping tight in the in the hand grips, keeping uh, Nick pulled in. Yeah, Nick, heavy hip pressure forward. A nice little sweep attempt there with a come up from Juan and drops back down into De Heva. Resets into a guard that he wants a little bit more than where he was. That's a nice strategic play yeah. from Juan on the bottom there. It also lets him make a little more range, which from the push grip we saw earlier is probably what he wants. You know, he probably doesn't want a really, really in tight close half guard. He probably wants to play at a longer range. And based on how he's underhooking the leg here, I would guess that is the case. Really nice open omoplata sweep. But Nick does a great job of countering. Potentially going to try to slide back. Ooh. Ooh, and looks like there's a tap to a knee bar, and potentially that's going to be a DQ. Uh, we'll see how it, it plays out. Yeah, so knee bars are illegal in the Purple Butt Division here under the Copa Virginia rule set. We see Nick fall into a knee bar, a tap from Juan, which effectively means that Juan wins the match from a DQ, illegal submission coming yeah. from Nick here. And that, you know, potentially could have been a little gamesmanship on one, and you got to know the rules. Yep. Really, really great performance from both guys. And uh, that does it. And Juan Abre takes your middleweight purple belt final in the gi.